It's Help Kids Shine Month here on 610 CKTB, all for the Niagara Children's Center. If you go to our website, 610CKTB.com, you can meet the 12 ambassadors that are representing the Children's Center for the 2018 campaign. If you go to our website, too, uh, you can uh, donate safely, securely, online, or you can become a Help Kids Shine monthly giving club member, 905-688-3550, 905-688-3550. Or you can drop by there, Niagara Children's Center, see the miracles that go on inside, donate on site, and uh, during the month of May, we want to find out not only about some of the uh, children and families that go, but the wonderful people who work there. Physiotherapist at the Children's Center is Andrea Abbott. She joins us now. Hello, Andrea. Hi there. How are you? Good, thanks. I, I'm sure adults who have to go to physio sort of have an idea what physiotherapy is, but tell me, because you guys are like enablers in a good way. Yeah, it's very different um, for infants and children and youth. Um, I specialize in infants and um, see them until their school age, and um, we try to keep therapy very fun. It's very play-based. We use toys, bubbles, and um, anything we can do to motivate the little ones to learn how to roll, sit, pull the stand, walk, um, things like that. So it, it looks very different than what an adult would uh, think of as physiotherapy. Sure, and talking to parents over the years, a lot of times that's what they first notice about their child or the child's not crawling or rolling over or things like that, and that's often how they get a diagnosis early. Yes, they often come in to us um, for an assessment as they're concerned that they feel their child is not doing the things that they would expect or that babies of their friends the same age are doing more or differently. So it's often the parents are bringing up their concerns to the doctor or self-referring to the Children's Centre and just wanting us to have a little look and see what uh, how we feel they're doing. So how do you, I mean, infants, uh, asking you the big question, it's your career, but uh, you have to move them, I guess. They don't necessarily, at a very, very young age, follow instruction. No, and that's where the motivation comes in. So we try, we facilitate movement, so we give them a little bit of help so that they can uh, help us. So if I'm teaching a child to roll, I may facilitate with their lower leg, and then they have to help me with their trunk and their head, and, and we you know, place toys and mom strategically so that they're looking in the right direction and that they're actively participating in the movement and not just being very passive on the floor. Does it help if they're with other infants? Do you do groups as well at that age? Um, infants are really mainly in tuned to their mom or their dad or a very significant caregiver. Uh, so we find um, that is most motivating for them. I don't tend to get into groups until more of the preschool mm. age where those peers start to become more socially important. We were talking to Erin Newton last week, Chelsea Newton's mom, and she said some of that early therapy was actually painful for Chelsea and it made it more difficult for her to be motivated, but she had to do these things. Do, do you run into that and what do you do? Well, it may not be so much painful, but it is that perception. It's difficult. And okay. again, that's where we try to make things as fun as possible. Uh, children and babies cannot communicate to us at times of this is frustrating mom. Um, so sometimes it may look as if it's painful and they may there may be some tears and so there's lots of parental education going on. Um, we try to get through some of that behavior. If, if something is really painful, then we usually refer back to the physician because sure. there's that difference between crying from a pure frustration and this is difficult that they're telling us, and that's the way they communicate to painful. So, mm -hmm. and, and with experience, you learn how to differentiate that, and we talk a lot about that with the families, too. That's amazing. As you are uh, working with the infant, are you teaching the caregiver as well, mother, father, whomever? Yes, that's a vital part of physio. So I have the family right down on the mat with me, and I'll do an exercise, and then I'll pass baby over to mom or dad or caregiver and say, okay, your turn, you try because when you go home, you need to be able to do this because it's the follow-through that is vital for that uh, infant success. 
And as you said, as they get older, more towards preschool, they can get into groups and and uh, other things, wiggles and giggles and things like that as they get older? Yes, we wow. have a number of really fun groups that are based on more of like a play-based therapy group, and the kids kind of see it as more fun, and they forget that this is therapy. So we have wiggles and giggles, we have jump and jive, we have play for all, uh, sensory swim. There's all sorts of different groups where, again, we try to really incorporate songs and parachute games and bubbles and just bring that fun component in. Well, you guys are amazing. Uh, I know you will, but keep up the good work, as they say, and uh, thank you for your time today, Andrea. Okay, thank you very much. Andrea Abbott, physiotherapist at the Niagara Children's Center. It's Help Kids Shine Month here on CKTB, benefiting the Niagara Children's Center. Uh, It's not only to raise awareness of this wonderful place, uh, you should find out more. You should stop by there or across from Brock one day and, and set up some time where you can look around a little bit and find out the the amazing work they do for children with special needs. They help the families. They help uh, uh, not only just moms and dads, but other caregivers and and siblings and everything deal with this situation that they're in. And they help so many children, but they need need, uh, funding to keep on. You know, people are on a waiting list, so on and so forth. So go to 610ckTB.com. You can uh, meet the 12 ambassadors. You can learn more about the Niagara Children's Center. You can donate there under Help Kids Shine. Or call 905-688-3550 to become a Help Kids Shine monthly giving club member. 905-688-3550.